What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create Doctor Doom using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come all the way over here and choose a brand new character slot. You can see I've already made the Human Torch, the Thing, the Invisible Woman, Mr. Fantastic, the symbiote known as Lasher, we've got Storm from the X-Men, Batman Beyond, the Silver Surfer, Kylo Ren, and now of course we're going to be making Doctor Doom. Alright, so let's get started. So first off, let's get rid of... what weapons is that? Oh, okay, cool. Those are some big weapons. Uh, we'll get rid of them, and we'll definitely get rid of that mustache. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yes, neck piece. There we go. Nice. Alright, so, to start off with, the head that I chose... Basically, there isn't really a face like Doctor Doom where you can see his eyes, you know? So, you kind of have to improvise and find something that looks, like, similar to it, but not exactly. But I still think it looks pretty good. So, let's see here. I'm just going to see if I can find something better, just in case. Ah, uh, what we got? No, you see, I can't really see anything that would be better than the one I'm about to use. Yeah, okay, so, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Ghost Rider's head, and you're going to make that this color right here. So it's like, not white, but it's like just silver, basically. Then you want to go to the body. And you want to make that, I think it's Gorgon or Karnak, I think. You know, one of those guys from the Inhumans. I think that's the one I used, if I remember correctly. Uh, ah, that's it, Karnak, yes. So you want to use Karnak. Then you want to go to the arms, and you want to make sure it's this silver right here. It's just to match the skin tone, basically. Um, well, the metal, <laughs> the armor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, then for the hands, you want to, again, match it. Then for the legs, you just want to do the same. So we're going to go with that color. And then again, both leg pieces. Go at the top. And then do that. Now, of course, we're going to add a cape, which is green. So you just want to make sure it's the same green as uh, as the, the torso piece. Because there are different greens, obviously. Let's see, But it's pretty obvious to tell which one it is. It's this one right here. It's between the acid... Well, it's, it's, that's this one's the acid green. But this one... It's just after the acid green, then there's a the dark green, so it's this one right here. And then the final thing, in terms of the design at least, is just a hood. And I gotta say, that actually looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with how that turned out, so yeah, I think he looks pretty awesome. I mean, you gotta think, we made the Fantastic Four, Doctor Doom, and the Silver Surfer, all with this character creator, so it's totally possible. you just gotta really look at all the pieces and just think about how it's all gonna come together. So. Doctor Doom has a lot of abilities and I tried to look online and see all the abilities you know that I could find on him based on the abilities you can actually give characters in the game so he's got like electricity control electronic disruption energy absorption he's got energy based constructs he can fly he's got force fields gadgets, intellect, invulnerability, magic, size manipulation, stealth, super speed, super strength, telekinesis, teleport, time travel, tracking, unarmed combat. He is a very powerful dude. So let's see what else, what we can give him, you know, try and give him as much as possible. Kind of like Silver Surfer, we're going to make him very, very powerful. So we'll give him te techno access. Uh, we won't give him a grapple, we'll give him mind control and magic. Deflect, yes. Crack Lego walls, yes. Fix, yes. Vine cut. Uh, yeah, why not? Super strength. Did I say time manipulation? He has time travel. He has time travel, so I don't see why not. We'll give him time manipulation. Portal create. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Rune tracing, yeah. It, it kind of all, like, fits in with the magic, really, so I think that works. Then he has the tracking ability as well, so we'll give him tracking, but I don't see the point in giving a character tracking if they can't dig things up after they've found it, so I just give him dig as well. Oh, and he can also teleport, so we'll give him teleport. See what I mean? He's really powerful. Really powerful. Although, of course, over the years, Doctor Doom has become more and more powerful. He's, he's, you know, he's been in different forms. I think, from what I could see from, like, the Marvel Wiki page, he's Iron Man at the moment. I mean, there's some crazy stuff going on. Uh, or at least the last time we saw him, he was Iron Man. Or something like that. Anyway, uh, now then, for Square. Right, let's see here. So, I'm going to guess we're going to give him some bolts. And seeing as how he has, you know, electricity control... I think what, what we'll do is, 
yeah, I think I'd like to give them different abilities, you know, depending on the button you press. So, like, let's, let's start off with hold square instead. Instead of that, right, what I'll do is I'll go to electric beam, and we'll go to both hands, and we'll go with blue. And we'll make, like, a... Basically, he can shoot electricity when you hold square, because I think that looks pretty cool. I believe he could do that in uh, Lego Marvel 1, and it was, like, green lightning or something, but we'll go with blue. So that looks... Whoa, 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 hang on. I want to make sure that's right. Yep, electric beam, nice. Then for tap square, because like I said, he has uh, energy absorption. So let's try and get something similar to energy absorption, I guess. Um, whatever that looks like. <laughs> then, for, yeah, so for bolt damage, we'll do silver bolts. And we'll do... I don't know which style. Oh, uh, don't worry about that animation issue there. I'll sort that later. But let's just focus on the actual powers. That's quite energy-like, I would say. Why don't we have that one, and we'll have both hands. Yeah, nice. And then, well, once I fix that <laughs> animation issue. Right, so what color would be good for this? I like, I like the orange. That's quite cool, like the fire colors. I already gave that to the silver surface, so I don't want to be too similar, you know? Just gonna try lots of different colors and see what looks good. That's quite cool. I like I do like that. I do like that a lot. That does look pretty cool, like magic. You know, like a magic kind of ability. Yeah, I think we'll have that. I like that. I do like that one a lot. Right, now then, on to tap, tap circles. So, I already gave the Silver... Because I know these characters are very powerful, the Silver Surfer and Doctor Doom. I already gave Silver Surfer teleport. So, this time, I'm going to give uh, Doom, you know, explosion attack. However, it also mentions that he can manipulate his size. So, he could actually shrink. I'm not sure if I should give him that or not, though. Because that might look a bit silly. That's kind of an optional thing, I would say. Because what I'm trying to do is, you know, make a Doctor Doom that everyone knows like you're like you look at it you're like yeah that looks like dr doom but you want them to play like dr doom as well so small features like shrink probably shouldn't really come into play but let's see what what force field we can give them i like all the different colors you know because we've got a blue for a lightning strike we got like flaming uh, attacks like uh, flaming energy manipulation kind of attacks so what if we have like yeah i like that like a, a green force field yeah, let's have that. I think that looks cool. And then for hold circle, oh man, what we're we gonna have here? Uh, how about? Well, we've got a beam. We've already got a beam. Explosion attack. Let's see here. Let's see if we could do something there. I don't know. What what could we do here? Hmm. You want something to look like magic, you know? Something something magical, basically. I kind of like that. That looks kind of cool. I'm going with that. I don't know why, but I really like it. I think that suits the design quite nicely. So I'm going to go with that. Heat explosion, yes. And... Yep. Wait, should we... I'll just try it one more time. Th that looks kind of cool to me. I don't know. Should I go with it or not? What's this one? Okay, no, I actually, you know what? That feels more like magic to me. Looks more magical, doesn't it? Although that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going with that. I think that I like that. Yeah, so just to make sure, because I know I messed around a lot there. Sorry, guys. But basically, it's the one between the acid green and this green. So it's this one right here. It's like the, the lightest green you can get before the acid green, basically. The explosion, yes. All right, that is pretty much it for the circle button. Now then, double tap X. So he can fly. So we'll give him flight, and then we'll give him, we'll give him hyper jump as well, because that's cool. Now onto passive traits. So for the health icon, we'll go with green. For the health type, we'll go with, uh, apparently he's immortal. 
I didn't know that. I had no idea Doctor Doom was immortal, but we'll go with invulnerable, I guess, if that's what it says. Um, voice will go with one. Target reticle? Oh, man. Uh, let me see. We could go with Kang's. It's green and purple, but it's got green in it, <laughs> at least. That's green and red. I'm gonna go with Kang's. I think Kang's works quite nicely. And then the movement speed... He, it says he has super speed, but uh, I don't know. Should we add that? Eh, yeah, why not? Like I said, you know, you want Dr. Doom and the Silver Surfer to be pretty powerful, so I think we should have that. Uh, we don't want any weapons, and I think that's it. Now we just have to name them. Awesome. I think this one came out pretty good. I was really disappointed in the way uh, the thing turned out because, you know, I wanted to make the thing, and I thought he looked good. A d like decent, but he didn't like it's probably one of the worst creations I've made and I know a lot of people didn't like that one and I do apologize, but you got to think you can't have the, f the Fantastic Four without the thing so I had to try at least to make the thing um, But I think I've made up with it You know made up for it with the Silver Surfer and Doctor Doom because these guys look pretty sweet if you ask me Now then is there anything like Latveria? I don't know. Let me see That's kind of cool that's also kind of cool. I think I'm going to go with that. This one here. I like that. Yeah. Look at that. Dr. Doom. Very nice. All right, cool. All right, guys. So now what we're going to do is drop Dr. Doom into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made Doctor Doom made in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Let's just get a good look at him right here. I think he turned out pretty good. I know some people might have some problems with the skull face, but if you can find anything that's better than that, definitely let me know. But to be honest, I think it looks good. I think he looks really good. It definitely makes me think of uh, Doctor Doom, so I'm happy. All right, so what can he do? Well, y you just saw there that he can shoot these uh, energy blasts. Like this, which are very cool. He can also use uh, lightning powers. He's got this magic ability here. And he's also got a force field. So he's a pretty cool character. And in terms of traversal, he is super fast. As you can see here. And he can fly. And he can also, I believe, super jump. Yep, there you go. He can super jump. So that's pretty neat. Alright. Let's destroy some stuff as Doctor Doom. Because, you know, Doom. <laughs> you have to create Doom when you're Doctor Doom. Alright, let's see if we can find some bad guys to take out as Doctor Doom. Not really his style, but hey, you know, we got to fight some ba some uh, enemies. You know, we got to fight to show off his abilities, so... It may look a bit heroic, but uh, just pretend they're not... Just pretend they're nice guys he's fighting. <laughs> that works. Alright. Oh, hey! Thanks again for breaking us out of that old shack. It wouldn't have been so bad in there if it at least had a TV. Oh man, I should have done uh, the magic ability on the last guy. Oh well, we'll try that another time. And I've teamed him up with Loki because I thought that would be a cool little reference to Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1. Life, the classic Loki, of course. Alright, well, not classic Loki as in Loki from the comics, it's just that's what it's called in the game, classic Loki. But it's like, it's Loki from uh, the very first Avengers movie. So yeah, that's cool. Right. Come on, Xandar, you got anything good for me? I heard that Lemurian guy in the pool is here to stay. He was super there'll be something around this corner. Well, you, you'll spin around and then there'll be something. Watch. You get around here and then listen to Wasp. She's going to say something right now. Any second now. It's always so accusing. Well, I wow. She hasn't actually said anything yet. That's crazy. Where are you, Wasp? She hasn't said a word. Usually, when you fly around there, she starts talking and saying that how there's some bad guys around the corner and you go there and you take them out. But there was no bad guys. Like, what the heck? Very strange. We could be together. All right. Well, these guys are always here. They never leave. Let's see if I can use this. Oh, yeah, he's invincible as well. We gave him invincibility. <laughs> Let me tell you, man, these guys are tough. I don't know why they're so strong. It won't let me use that uh, ability. Oh, wait, yes, it will now. It will now. Whoa, put down the car, Doom. 
hang on. I'm gonna get this attack. Whatever, it's the last thing I do. Come here. <gasps> yes! Finally! So yeah, there you go. So he's got that ability as well. And he got the force field. Which we haven't really used, but it's pretty cool. Look at that. He looks like he's shaking because of the super speed. He's doing the animation much quicker than he should. So that's quite funny. Hey, Speedy. Just passing through. Why don't you stay alive? Yeah, Doom. That's another thing about the... Uh, the recent uh, news that Disney by next week is probably going to have the rights to like, you know, Fantastic Four and X-Men again. I am beyond excited to see Doctor Doom in the MCU because I just feel like Doctor Doom has never been done justice on the big screen yet. I mean, he was okay in the original movies. I, he wasn't terrible, but I just think even powers they haven't got right yet. Like, it's just, they keep making them... I don't know, just they don't get it right every time. They've never got it right. So, But I think Marvel Studios will absolutely knock it out of the park and hopefully make, uh, you know, Doctor Doom one of their best villains to date. Um, you know, I don't think they're going to rush into this, though. I don't think they're going to go, Hooray, we have the Fantastic Four. Let's throw them into the end of Avengers 4. I don't think they're going to do that. That would be kind of... Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe they will do that, but maybe it'll feel, you know, not not like crammed in but that's the, that's the worry you know you don't want it to feel like it's been forced in I personally I know there are people that disagree with this but I personally think they did a really good job of easing spider-man into the MCU with Civil War it didn't feel rushed it felt like it made sense you know explained that Tony's been keeping tabs on heroes I thought that was pretty cool but with the Fantastic Four it's different um, I think it'd be pretty cool if uh, maybe the Fantastic Four like, I know it's similar to Captain Marvel, but you could say that, well, we, it might be similar. I mean, there's there's theories that, uh, hang on a sec, let me just get rid of this guy. Yeah, there's theories that uh, Captain Marvel is stuck in the quantum realm, which is kind of cool. But also, you know, what I think would be interesting is for the Fantastic Four, you could say that maybe they've been in the MCU the whole time and they were astronauts and they, I don't know, went to a, another dimension or something or went to the moon but they ended up in another dimension. And then you could say that dimension was the negative zone and they've got and they've been stuck there ever since, like long before Iron Man 1, maybe even before Captain Marvel. But they, they haven't aged and when they come out, they're, um, you know, when they come back to Earth, they, uh, they've, they've got their powers. And you don't really have to explain any of the origin or anything. Like, you, you could just get right into it, like what they did with Spider-Man. I think that would be pretty cool, because I think most people know how the Fantastic Four got their powers now. So I don't think it needs explaining, you know, for a third time. But I think that would be cool if they've been, like, stuck in the negative zone ever since. That would be pretty interesting. I really want an older Fantastic Four cast, you know, like, like a similar age to how old Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth and, you know, Robert Downey Jr. all were when they started. That, that's what we need. We don't need... I don't want a young Fantastic Four team. I absolutely do not want that. I want an older Fantastic Four team. Uh, that would be great. Although, you know, Johnny could be younger. I don't think he'll be the same age as Peter. But, uh... You know, you want you want those you want those moments from the comics where Johnny and Peter like hang out. I mean, we definitely want to see that in the MCU. So I think they should definitely pick an appropriate age for Johnny, so that it makes sense. You know, for him hanging around with Peter and stuff. But also, I'd like Reed and Sue and Ben to be uh, older, personally, like around the same age as the current MCU actors when they started. And I think that is definitely the future of the MCU. I think, uh, you know, the, people say that, that they don't want the, all these characters to join the MCU because they feel like it's going to be crammed in, like like uh, just far too many heroes in that is universe as is. But the thing is, after Infinity War, there's not going to be as many heroes as there once was. And I think, uh, I think filling it back up with the Fantastic Four and some of the X-Men makes perfect sense to me. So I think that's definitely the plan. I feel like they'll try to put, um, you know, the, sure the Fantastic Four busy. in, uh, like, first. But I think they'll ease into the X-Men. I don't think they'll rush into that straight away. Because I think so many people know the X-Men from Fox's movies. And I think uh, they, they'd rather, you know, 
kind of let people be like, okay, that is the end of their story. Wait a few years, and then, boom, X-Men in the MCU. They might start teasing it in, in uh, current movies that maybe the mutant gene is suddenly appearing and pe uh, people are changing and things like that. Like, that might happen. It could be something like that. Come on! Why is this guy so tough? All he's got is a gun. Well, like, it's, a, it's like a flamethrower, but whatever. He just... hang on. How about now? Oh, nice job, Loki. Okay, I think it wants me to attack him head on, maybe. Let me try that again. What the heck? How are you supposed to defeat this guy? Oh, try now. Yeah, there we go. Finally! Well, we had to get Loki to defeat him there, but still, good teamwork by the two of you. Nice. All right, let's go. If you have your camera with you, dear. I'm sorry, Aunt May. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Whoa! But yeah, I mean, thinking about the possibility of uh, of the Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom and the Silver Surfer and all that in the MCU is pretty. Pretty crazy. Even Galactus. I feel like Galactus might be the next big bad after Thanos. I think they might try try and do Galactus. Um, hopefully properly this time because I think there was like a... I think I, he was at the end of Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, I believe. But wasn't he like just a cloud? Like a giant cloud? No. That is not Galactus. I'm sorry. I think you can kind of see the shape of his helmet or something, which is kind of neat. I'll give them that. That was kind of neat. But no, we want a we want a big dude. We don't we don't want a, a, a big cloud. We want a big dude. I think Marvel will definitely do Galactus. I really do feel like he'll be the next big bad at some point. Like, like from we're we're starting Phase Four now. So I think he might be the, the, the bad guy in, like, phase... Kang. Oh, I found another one of these. In, like, phase six, maybe. Something like that. If they go that far, we'll see. Oh, finally got rid of one of those again. Oh, there's only one left. Are you kidding me? I'll find that eventually. I will find it. If it's the last thing I do. Oh, shock. What's going on? Ooh. Bad guys. Romans. How dare you? Too bad such a ha! Nice. And that Whoa! Doing them any Leave Loki alone. Public eye response times are pretty shocking, huh? I see what you did there. And I hated it! A safer place, one ball at a time. Hey, I'm not one to talk. I've done puns. <laughs> I've done lots of puns. Right. I love that when you find a massive group of studs and it just goes like, oh, I love it. The way you collect super fast, I think that's awesome. You like try to collect as many studs as possible. Ooh, hello. I'm gonna take you down. Oh, he dodged that. Yeah, no, what? Come on. I'll throw you into that pile of uh, debris or whatever. A minor error on my part. Not something I will be repeating. Finally! Got him. And Loki was talking there. That was pretty cool. I like how some of the characters are voiced and they actually say things when they die and come back and stuff. That's awesome. Really nice little attention to detail. That's probably because we're now on, you know, next gen only. It's not on PS3 or Xbox 360 or Nintendo Wii U. It's it's just the, uh, the, the next gen consoles, which is really, really nice. And hopefully that will benefit the LEGO games in the long run, you know, like the next LEGO games will hopefully will be even better than this one in terms of graphics and content, you know, how much you can put into the games. Whoa, that was weird. Like, hopefully. I love that. Oh, mindless ones. They are weak compared to Doctor Doom. 
Seriously, they are weak. Look at that. Oh, 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 he's going into 2099. Where you going, bud? Uh, Loki. Thank you. Haha, -ha, nice. All right, I think we'll head back to uh, Latveria now. Yes, I'm calling it Latveria. I wanted a medieval England to look like... Uh, well, I thought me Medieval England was the place that looked most like Latveria in the game, so I thought I'd start the video there. So, yes, I am calling it Latveria just because we're playing as Doctor Doom. There is my castle. Right. But yeah, don't worry. I, I know it's not Latveria. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing. All right. Ooh, there's some bad guys down here before we can wrap up, so that's cool. Let's go take them out. Ha-ha! I have a shield. <laughs> Thanks. I thought I was a goner. No problem. It's a shame you can't fly with the shield, because, like, that would look amazing. Especially with, like, my custom-made Magneto. That'd look even cooler. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's see if I can do it again. Ah, oh, I see what I mean. Just doesn't work. Ah. Oh well. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. You know, like I said, I'm happy with the way Doctor Doom turned out. I know there are some creations I've done where you guys aren't huge fans of some of the uh, the things that I've changed. Like, for example, with the Batman Beyond, a lot of people didn't like the cape. Which I can understand, I just thought it added a bit more and it looked more like when he's actually flying. But hey, you don't like it, that's totally fine. But this time around, I think I did a good job with Doctor Doom. You know, I think the cape, the hood, the only thing I think people might be bothered by is the head. But of course, you can't really change that. There's only so much I can do with this character creator. And I think I did a pretty good job and I hope you guys do too. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. That dude's just standing right in front of me, seriously. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Loki! Stop it! I need, <laughs> I need to move. <laughs> Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.